Well, tonight we introduce a special part of the uh, St. Louis Amateur Hockey Hall of Fame, and that's the Hall of Fame Spirit Award. And this award will go to someone who has shown the spirit and dedication to improve hockey in St. Louis. This year's winners, you know for sure, but what they did back in the 60s helped many hockey players, some of which are here tonight. Now, both Bob Plager and Noel Picard had outstanding NHL careers. Not a lot of goals, they had good careers. But what they did at the old Winterland Rink, which we've heard stories already tonight, you'll get your chance, Noel. But what they did at the old Winterland Rink is embedded into all those that attended their hockey schools, and they both still wear the blue note absolutely on their heart. Um, me personally, the ability to come home to St. Louis and work with the people that I've admired for so long, it's been quite a thrill. And uh, I don't know how many of you caught the broadcast last night. I'm sure probably none of you because it was a sellout crowd, and I'm sure all of you were there for the 17th sellout of the season. But yeah, that's quite a feat. Congratulations to Al and J.D. and everybody. I had one of those moments last night that kind of transcends the sport itself. Uh, when you get to sit in a broadcast booth, and uh, Bobby Plager was helping out last night, and, um, and he brought Noel Picard in, and they, those two sat in there for the whole first period of hockey. I don't know how much play-by-play -play we had, but without a doubt, since I got here to St. Louis or since my time in the minor leagues or in college hockey, I've never had a more enjoyable period of hockey than I did last night. Where these two are extraordinarily special. A couple things that you may not know, as you heard, that even when Noel Picard was running the Bobcat through the mud, he still lives by the philosophy that whenever he feels like exercise, he just lays down until that feeling passes. The only reason Bob Plager started jogging is that so he could hear heavy breathing again. <laughs> and Bobby, as, uh, as we welcome you and uh, Noel Picard up to the booth, that I just didn't want to miss the chance to give you a little bit of advice that had been passed on to me, and uh, that is that uh, if her lips are on fire and she trembles in your arms, forget her, she's got malaria. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Plager, Noel Picard, our Hall of Fame Spirit Award and true heroes of hockey in St. Louis. Fellas. If you have kids, you know what to do. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to congratulate all the inductees. You know, this is something special for myself and I know for Noel. Uh, you know, as uh, growing up, we were very fortunate. We grew up in Canada, and as a young kid, you walk around any place in Canada in the wintertime, or you see somebody, the kids, hockey sticks, hockey bags, skates, they're always going somewhere. They're going skating, whether it's a pond or their backdoor rink or one of the schools where there's a rink. You know, that's what you always saw. And, you know, in 67, or 67, 68, when the St. Louis Blues come to St. Louis, I know there was a lot of times driving a rink with my brother Bark, and you look around and everybody had a soccer ball, short on, kicking a soccer ball, there was no hockey then. And to see what has happened now, and to go to the rinks now and see the kids, they're playing hockey here and now in St. Louis. Kids from St. Louis now playing in the National Hockey League. The kids in St. Louis now junior hockey, Division I programs. I mean, since 1967, with one rank, Winterland, to see what's going on here now, it's unbelievable. And these are the people, and there's a lot of other people, coaches, that are responsible for what's going on. So it's really something uh, amazed and it's going to get better. There's some great people in here that are running this hockey. Our alumni, you've mentioned some of the players and the alumni. A lot of the players are down there helping out with the kids now, coaching hockey teams. But this is really special from what I said the first year, coming to St. Louis and driving around and never seeing one kid with a hockey stick or skates. But to go down now and see what's going on in St. Louis and how far this game has come. And there's some names here, people that I know personally. Eddie Olson, hated him. <laughs> I didn't need pictures. 
store lawyer was hard work, son of a gun, you might growing up, live on a farm in Canada. And folks, remember one thing. When you bring a little hockey player, go to practice, love them, don't interrate the coach, let him have him fun. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the truth, that's the truth. Right. I see the young hockey player. I, I live in Montreal in Montreal right now. I, li I see some young hockey player full of talent, but seems like they miss one big thing. They don't have fun with themselves or playing with another person and love each other. That bugger there. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you, that bugger there, and the time I played for the Blues, like Al Arbor, Jean-Guy Talbot, you name every one of them. We were together like a big family. And when we were winning, we were winning together. When we were losing, losing together. And after the game, we were have a few beers, we have a few beers together. And I can tell you, what, more than one. But, what I want to tell you, you folks, is so nice to see all you, all of you here, because I'm very, very hot inside because you people give me the support of St. Louis Blues when we need it, and it was there. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know the blue crest. St. Louis is going to play against Montreal the 18th of this month. I never did do that in Montreal uh, ice rink. The 18, I'm going to wear my blue jacket <laughs> <laughs> in Montreal because that's what the life did start for me in hockey. Came here in St. Louis. And we're talking about your father. He was he was a referee in the Central League when I was playing for Omar Knights against St. Louis Brave. And all those people, Jim Jones, you little bugger, you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good good solid person. And I met some people in, in Afton. I was happy to get dirty, go and bulldozer and work in the farms and things like this was, uh, was, uh, come on, come on, well, <laughs> Bill, Bill Wachter, uh, the other one, oh, he was generous, that booger. Uh, who was? Bill Murray, Bill Murray. Bill Murray, no, but the other contractor, Jane McNary was involved with our, because we used to go and beg for a little help of money. Uh, electrician constructor, they used to come in and do a lot of work. Uh, oh, he was in construction, he was uh, building roads. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was another one, better than that. <laughs> anyway, th th those people, they were so honest and so beautiful. And and they were get get all the team, all the all the people together, and that's why we built a high rink in Afton, and we did a great great job, and we create a little fun for the little kids and new people anytime, anytime when you could do, give a little fun, to, give a little fun to the little kid, do it, don't don't hesitate. If it costs two dollars. One cent or ten dollars, if you could do it financially, do it because we need to help the young generation today because we're in trouble. You know that. <laughs> well, that's that's my speech here because I'm, I'm soaking wet because I love you people. Thank you very much. <laughs>